الله أكبر 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 God is great. Allahu Akbar translated into English means God is great. Allahu Akbar. See, when we say the word Allah, it is so much more dramatic in Arabic. Translated into English, in English we're kind of limited. We have God, and the only way to show emphasis is to say the capital G, O D. God, with the big G. That's the only real way to emphasize the one and only God. Allahu Akbar. God is great. A lot of times many Christians and non-Muslims believe that when Muslims say the word Allah, that they're talking about some God that is some pagan, evil, satanic, cultish, other heathen God. And that's not true at all. Allah is translated as the God. When we say Allah in Islam, what do we mean? Allah. Allah for us means the one and only God. And it's important that we pay attention to this message. The term Allahu Akbar as heard by Muslims all over the world that they say in their prayers five times a day, over and over again, Allahu Akbar. Non-Muslims should understand that that means God is great. Because right now there's a campaign going on against God. Atheists are mounting one of the largest campaigns ever seen, and the press is making everyone, especially in the United States, believe that Muslims are against God. And that's not true. Muslims, Christians, and Jews have much more in common than they have apart. With so much focus in the press on Islam being negative and so much negative hostility from terrorism being attributed to Islam that people are being tricked by the media and the spinners to focus on the issues that don't count as much. The one issue that Muslims have, that they stand by at all times, is that they believe in one God the God of Jesus, the God of Moses, the God of Abraham, the God of Noah, the God of Adam, the God of Muhammad, Allah, the one and only God, Allahu Akbar. This week, in real time, with Bill Maher, they had Christopher Hitchens, a well-known author who is promoting his book, promoting atheism, and he's getting a lot of press. Now, surprisingly, or not surprisingly, if you're paying attention, his book is titled, God is Not Great, How Religion Poisons Everything. This is an example of how the media is promoting atheism or lack of religion. This is something that goes against the Jewish faith and the Christians and the Muslims. It's time for Muslims and their other counterparts who believe in the one true God to join together in what is most important to us, that we believe in God. Christopher Hitchens' book says there is no God, that God is not great. And to that, God is not great. He writes that on the title. His title is God is not great. And to that, my only response is Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. God is great. God is great. Bill Maher was promoting his, his book, and he even talked about the twisters going on in Kansas, the tornadoes going on in Kansas. See, to make non-Muslims understand what Muslims mean when they say Allah, let me explain it to you. Because the term Allah gets so misused. When you're a person, and you're a person of character, a person of fiber, a person of honor, then you know that you were raised, especially here in America, to have a little bit of self-respect, dignity, pride in who you are. Know that you're worth something. And know that 
You don't kowtow to anybody. You don't bow your head to anybody. You don't lower yourself to anybody. You don't ask anybody for help. I mean, not in the sense of, you, you know, everybody needs help, but you don't have to go beg anybody for mercy or help. There's only one person you bow down to. That's God. That's God. The capital G-O-D. Or as we say in Islam, Allah. Allah. The one true God. And so, to explain what Muslims believe when they talk about God, let me tell you the story of the Qur'an. It explains what we mean when we're truly talking about God. When you're out there in the ocean and the seas start to get a little choppy and the weather starts to get a little rough and your boat starts to shake and quake and you don't know if you're going to live or you're going to die and you don't think that there's any way for you to survive because the thunder and the rain is coming down upon you and the waves are crashing upon you and you know that there's no way you're going to make it out of this. At that moment when you're desperate and there's nothing for you to do and there's no chance for you to survive and you look up beyond the skies, beyond the clouds, beyond the rain, up into the heavens and you say, Oh, Allah! Please save me. Oh God, I swear if you save me this time I'll be good, I promise. I'll never do anything bad again. I'll stay worshiping you forever. At that time when there's no one to ask except the only one who can save you, the one true God, the real God, Allah, that's what Muslims believe. And if you're someone who still believes that there's maybe a God of the wind, and a God of the waters, and a God of the air, and you're still asking different gods to help you when it's that kind of a crucial calamity moment? No, then you don't got it yet. Because it's at that time that you ask the one true God. So, when Bill Maher says, we need to believe in science, and that when those people in Kansas, when that man says, I was in the tornado, and it didn't kill me. Nothing spared me but the Almighty. And Bill Maher says, you idiot. It wasn't the Almighty that saved you. It was science. It was statistics. It was analysis. It was charting of the weather patterns. We say to Bill Maher, no. Don't you see? There is the sign. The man's not saying that he disagrees with education, that when we see a storm coming, we don't get out of the way. Of course we get out of the way, but what he's saying was, hey, there was a tornado heading right for me, right for me, and there was a guy to the left of me, and he went one way, and I went the other way. He went left, I turned right, and I could have been killed. He didn't make it, and I did, and I don't know why, because I could have died. But only the Almighty saved me. Yes. Allah. Allah is the one that saves you. Not science. And anybody of belief understands what I mean. Whether you're a Jew, whether you're a Christian, or whether you're a Muslim. So it's time for us to join together and not be confused. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. God is great. This same slogan was the slogan heard on the videotapes that we know the clerk in the electronics store discovered of the Fort Dix terrorists. Now, I am in no way condoning terrorism. Totally to the contrary. But what I'm trying to say is just the statement by a Muslim of saying Allahu Akbar is being portrayed as akin to terrorism. And it's not. What Muslims are saying all over the world whatever country they come from, in all their different languages, when they pray and when they say the words from Islam, they say the words, Allahu Akbar, God is great. And it's time for those of us who believe to join together and recognize that one true message that we all stand for. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, God is great. Assalamu alaikum. Thanks for watching Hot Conflict.